pricing is one of those areas that you can get into an endless discussion. Uh, I'll call it discussion because it might be an endless argument, whether it's internally with your investors, with whoever about pricing. One of the things I recommend about pricing, and we talked about pricing earlier in the product service section about, you know, is it a premium price? Is it something where you're just a little more expensive than your competition to give that uh, uh, feeling that your product, perception that your product's probably a little bit better without costing a lot more, so your product's the better one by simply pricing it a little bit higher? Uh, are you the low price leader, which I think is always dangerous because there's always going to be somebody who's going to undercut you. And when you're in that place, there's really no money to be made because your margins are so thin, so that's crazy. But what I want to say is really, if you can figure out a way or an engineer a test where you can test your prices. And we did this at one point where I sent out you know, different direct mail pieces with different price points on them. And of course, each one of them was tagged with a source key to tell me which, you know, where did the sale come in. In this case, the, the ad, the ad, these kids were ads, they were direct mail pieces, postcards, uh, were all identical except for the price. You want to be scientific about this. So the offer, the list, everything about it is completely identical. The only difference is the actual price. This is how you test for price. And then you have, of course, the source key, which is unique to that price. So when the, when the orders come in, you can see, wow, we sold X number of products at the X number of prices. And of course, you do the math to see where the margins and where's your what's your optimum price. But I think what you want to say at the end of the day in your business plan is, we're, so here's some ideas we have for pricing to demonstrate that you've thought about it and that you're aware of these things. And B, we're going to test them and here's how we're going to do that. We're going to put in source keys, we're going to send out a direct mail piece, 5000 a piece to this market segment and see who responds and see what price points are going to be the most optimum price for this product. Before you roll out a massive campaign of, of lots of ads, if you want to get an idea really what and let people vote with their dollars. A focus group, I think, in many instances, in terms of market research, is, is, is very iffy and very risky because the focus group, people can tell you, oh yeah, I'll do this, I'll do that. But I really think, want to see people invest with their actual dollars, vote with their dollars. That'll tell you what people will really do in reality. And from there, you can, you can do the math, reset your spreadsheet, and figure out exactly what the response in this promotion is going to be based on a price that actually you've tested.